Blackout650 Gaming here, and welcome to a vlog. So today marks, well, okay, it's going to be a multi-day vlog, and we're starting in here because I don't know why. Um, the audio is going to be crap. Audio is going to be crap. If I could speak English, that'd be cool. Um, deal with it. Frame rates, something, I don't know, whatever. Um, so yeah, we're in here to start off with. Here's my computer with my school colors, old school colors now. Yay, I graduated. Anyway, the guitar. Finally have my acoustic guitar back. Um, let's look over here, though. This is the important part. I got this area cleaned up. Um, ignore, ignore that. Shh. Anyway, this isn't really relevant. We're leaving now. Here's a trash bag. Here's a vacuum. Here's some wire. Drum kit. What are we going over here? Um... That's all a mess. Ignore it. I'm working on it. So you might have noticed random things just sort of in places, and there's me in my really big shirt. Like, damn. But irrelevant. Um, so some of you may already know that I finally bought a Vive. I do not have it yet, which is why this is a multi-day vlog. But I'm throwing together the jankiest Vive setup I possibly can. There I am again. Can't really see me all that well, though. So, let's go over here first. We're going to start in this corner. Now, if you don't know about the Vive, it's a VR headset. Um, I don't, I don't know. It does this thing called room scaling, which means that you get an entire area that you can walk around in, for instance. Well, in this case, we get... Here, we'll go over here. We get... That much space from that tripod to this simple stand uh, which is we'll talk about that in a little bit so let's start over here uh, oh we still didn't finish explaining that uh, there's these little things that will be on top of them i don't have them yet so they're not there i don't know how well they're going to go on there it'll be interesting um but yeah so that's that's all you need to know for the vibe really um so over here we got the computer now this computer is like the bare minimum for VR. It's got two GTX 960s, which is really the main issue. And it's got an AMD FX8350 processor and a 990 chipset motherboard, of course. Um, graphics card is over... Well, actually, graphics card are overclocked, but I was going to say processor is overclocked. You can see the heat sink sticking out the side there. Um, aftermarket. Well, not aftermarket, but not, not OEM heat sink. It's not a Wraith either. It's an older processor. I didn't have the Wraith then. I have one now, though. AM4, though, will not work with AM3, so we're not going to do that. At least, actually, I guess I don't know. So there's a computer. Now, the issue I had, or have, is that computer is probably not strong enough to actually run VR. Will even, will even turn or not? I don't know why, but why not? Right? So that front fan there doesn't really do anything right now. There it goes. So there is one fan pulling air in, and then the giant hole in the side and on the front, and yada yada. Which is why that extra fan is there. Here we'll let me demonstrate how the extra fan works. So we plug in our uh, outlet strip. And it's kind of stuffed under here. Yep, there it is. And then that's so it's got metal fan blades too, so it's kind of terrifying. Not really painful if you stick your hand in it accidentally. So that pumps extra air into there. Um, so what else? The receiver on television. Uh, this used to be where we had the PlayStation 4 and or Xbox or PlayStation 3. We've got the Wii over here. Even though the computer's on Wii, doesn't matter. Deal with it. So let's go over here. Okay. So whilst that does its thing very slowly, which wasn't too terrible, um, let me explain the stands and why it's so janky. So I got to put the things on those. Now, normally what you would do is you'd buy stand things specifically for um, the Vive room scale pod things. I'm not spending another $50 on those plus a bag for them because I already spent large quantities of money on the thing itself plus some games. Actually, I only bought one game so far. I was going to buy uh, X Plane 11, and I was actually going to do it a while ago, but you know, whatever. Um, 
So yeah, I'm not doing that. So instead I've got a cymbal stand and a tripod. I don't use the tripod very much anymore because that was for the camera that's on there. And then the cymbal stand, I also don't use all that much. Yeah. Um, it's taking a really long time. Cool picture though. Oh, 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 oh there it goes. <laughs> um, so I gotta jank this whole thing. This all thing? I gotta jank this whole thing together. So initially, my very first thought was, it was always to use this symbol stand. Because it works for this camera and it works for my Logitech webcam. So I figure it's probably gonna work for, uh, thing. Don't know for sure though. Um, if it doesn't, then I'll have to 3D print something, which I can't really do because 3D printer's in a box still. So, yeah. So if we hop up here, this is where I was going to put the other one. Um, there's a bunch of spider webs, you can't really see them. Spider webs, dust, and crap, so I'd have to vacuum it. That's vacuum. Actually, that's not why it's down here, but irrelevant. Um, so yeah. Then I figured, um, well, I got nothing. And so, yeah. Uh, another option would have been to put the thing, or the pod things here, but my head is, you know, up here. So it'd be a less than pleasant angle. Because <laughs> I'm 6'2", and that's not. Let's see here. Let's see here. Um, three foot four, give or take a little. So that's three foot four, and I'm six two. And I'm here either this and that was the news. Um, so that wouldn't really work. So then I came back to having this guy over here. I don't know why it's not straight, but probably because it's on a box. You know, the box my pedals came in. We'll turn that off now. So we're gonna put a pod up there, and then I realized, oh wait, I've got a tripod. So I'll bring the tripod over. Oh, this this is a robot, it doesn't work well. Um brought the tripod over here. Well, this is too short because it was you know here, which is a tiny little bit taller than that. The thing that the TV's on. So then it was move the chair over a bit and put tripod on here. Then I realized, you know, that's back a little too far and that's going to throw off the room scaling thing. So then it was over here. Then I realized, well, now I've got a lot less space over there, which really wouldn't be all that bad. Actually, it would probably be good so I don't walk into the couch. But, whatever. I don't, know, I don't know I have this on here before. There we go. Actually, I think this gives it a little more space. Slightly more sturdy. Probably not, but whatever. Woo. Just gonna go ahead and drop my thumb real quick. Um, so yeah, then it was that. Now what I'm thinking is I'm gonna put the thing up here and then tape it on there because I there's, there's no thread in there. Um, I do have a screw that I was using for the camera, so that's an option. If it will screw on there, then I'll do that instead. I'd, ra I'd rather use a screw than the red masking tape I bought today, um, which has a purpose. I, I put it on my wheel, so I've got a center line in the wheel because I'm a nerd. Um, but yeah, that's that's where I am right now. The world's most jankiest... Um, Vive setup ever done, and I just waxed this a little bit ago because I wanted to see what it would do. It's super soft, well, not soft, but it's like smooth now. Of course, now it's all scuffed up from my hand, but you know, whatever. So, yeah, thus begins the viving. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for day one. Um, we are going to tip over real quick. 
I guess that's all I got. So I'll see you tomorrow when I have the box with my Vive in it. Bye. All right. It's still day one, but I forgot something. I forgot to, I said that I don't think the computer will be able to do VR. Um, I'm starting up the Val, or Steam VR performance test. Um, so I wanted to explain my idea that I have. Um, and hello again. <laughs> so uh, I also didn't explain this. This is my piano or my keyboard stand, but I'm using this wood thing that's supposed to go behind the speaker and or receiver. Uh, whatever. <laughs> um, this is it's to hold the keyboard and mouse, so I'm, you know, I can still be standing with the thing on my head, so I don't have to sit down with a bunch of wires attached to me. Um, but anyway, so my idea was I googled it, and theoretically it works. It should probably, hopefully, maybe I really hope it works. Work. Um, I'm gonna try to stream from my big computer in there to this computer. So, you know, that kind of adds to the jank. Here we go, now it's working. Um, center a little more. So, I mean, initially it doesn't look bad at all. It seems like it's running fine. It looks pretty damn smooth. I mean, kind of glitchy there. I, I don't know what that's about. That might have something to do with how I have the display hooked up, which adds an extra factor of jank. If we go back here, you can see nothing. Okay, I have uh, HDMI going into a DVI adapter because I want the Vive to plug in through HDMI rather than through a DVI adapter. Because, yeah. Just adds to the jank. So yeah, this is a performance test if you've never seen it. It looks kind of like this. This is the most professional way of screen capturing right now. <laughs> There's actually a bunch of stuff on here I want to get rid of. Like the uh, Trident smart camera thing. We need to dispose of that. But yeah. Uh, I'm going to let this thing do its thing and you're going to sit here whilst it goes through it and I'm going to show you the results it gets and why I don't have 100% confidence in this, in my, in this computer to do this. So if you don't know, my main desktop has a Ryzen 7 1700 processor and a GTX 1070 in it, as well as 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, whereas this only has, well, it has 16 gigabytes of RAM, but it's DDR3, so it's a lot slower. I believe this is 1866, whereas my des other desktop is 2933, <laughs> so yeah. And this is running 4.2 gigahertz, which I can actually raise up a little bit. I've got some wiggle room. And the other one is 4.3, maybe. All right, so it's on the closer to ready side than capable or of capable. So if we kind of bring this up, um, see that's the most yellow part right. I don't know. I don't know where my phone just cut out there. Someone called me. So um, yeah. We're back. So this is done. Um, we we're already going over it, like I said. Uh, capable, but on the ready side of capable because of uh, Windows 10, green, and AMD 8350 8-core processor, blah, blah, blah. I like how it's 8-core processor, 8 cores. Um, so those are both green. Can't really tell on here. I can barely tell, but GPU is yellow. Yeah, you can't tell. Oh, well, maybe a little bit. But yeah, that's yellow. It's GTX 960. And the reason it's yellow is if we go over here, we can see that NVIDIA wants us to have a GTX 970 or higher. I only have 960, but you know, whatever. I've got two 960s in there, and I don't think it sees that. And I know it doesn't add processing power or anything, but if we, you know, if we go over here, we do say Afterburner. I don't know why there's no sound there, that's concerning. Now it's overclocked. Actually, no, it's not. What? It's not overclocked, but it's got a much higher power and temperature limit. And it's got a custom fan curve on it, so it's not an issue. And we can go ahead and overclock it real quick, too. We just... Let's just add, like, 30. 30 megahertz. Not much. And then to the memory, we'll add 15. 
and then core voltage will go up. We'll up that by 20. Five. That's 35, okay. There should we go. And then we could run it again, but it wouldn't accomplish anything. Um, it's too tall now, okay. Whatever, we can see most of it. So we get over here, quality, it started out very high, and this is probably where we saw it kind of doing the switching between things there. Um, random spike up to high there. So medium graphics down to low at times. Um, frames below 90, zero. So that's, that's the thing. Frames tested 9065. Frames CPU bound three. So it's just still zero percent. I'm sure it's zero point blah 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 percent, but still. And um, again, frames below 90, zero. So those aren't bad numbers. Those are actually pretty good numbers. To me, at least. Um, so I'm interested in knowing or finding out how it's going to handle. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stream, if I can't do it on here, if I can't straight up play the games on here, I'm just going to stream them from my big computer. The big old computer. I got VR games open right now. I did buy hot dog horseshoes and hand grenades, and like I said, I'm going to get um, the other one. It's installed on that computer. I want to stream it. You're an imbecile. I wonder if Steam's not properly running here. Let's run over here real quick. I'm going to extend day one even more. <laughs> Welcome back to here. There's a green screen if you haven't seen it yet. Um, I was messing with my computer. You go away. If you didn't know, if you do, um, Windows colon brings up an emoji screen. Um, I was just messing with that to see if it actually worked. Alright, yeah, and here we go down. We are hot dog sorcerers and hand grenades, and we play. Okay. Does that say stream or install? It does say install on the other one. That's gonna start running eventually. Actually, you know, we'll, we'll stay and watch it start up. Ow. And now, I, you can run it fine, it's whatever. Woohoo. That's not the best frame rate. <laughs> can I get. Oof, 2060. Okay, it is still 60 FPS. That's just how it works. Okay. So that's running 60 FPS, 100% no problem. We're starting, we're getting closer to averaging 60 FPS. Whoop do. Woohoo. Fun shit. Okay. So let's go back over here. Let's see. So clearly, it is running on that computer. Still says install though. This game currently doesn't support streaming. Well then I'm fucked. Okay. Tabletop. Okay, we can stream tabletop simulator and project cars we can stream as well. <laughs> it's defaults to stream. It's like yeah, you're not good. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so it wants to install on there, but we can run it on here. You're all in another complete blah 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 blah. Uh we'll disconnect the obsession from oh. Hold on. Make nauseate some people real quick, and uh, you can't do anything like I'm moving the mouse. You can see it, click, drag, nothing, and nothing, nothing does anything. Escape, nothing. Alt four, Alt four does something though. All right, so that's not doing that anymore. Let's run back over there. Don't buy that Viking, by the way. The Dyson, whatever animal, whatever. It's terrible. I'd say it sucks, but it doesn't even do that. Okay. Uh, has that not detected? Blah, blah, blah. It's fine. Just run the game anyway. Ooh, that was weird. Ooh, okay. So that's, that's new. It's weird that it doesn't do any of this on the other one. Wait, why did you start Steam VR instead? Of, oh, just, whatever. It's doing all sorts of weird crap. I don't know what's happening. I haven't done... There it goes. Alright, so what are we getting FPS? It doesn't say cool, thanks. Okay. It looks about the same, though. It looks like 60 FPS. Uh, what's the load on everybody right now? 28 to 27 on 30. 30% on the main card. Uh, a little bit on the other one. I need to double check settings though. Um, 24%, 23, 22 on CPU, 27. And using about 4.3 gigabytes of RAM going up, of course, but whatever. So it seems like it's running fine. It looks exactly the same. But again, I don't have VR on here right now, so we gotta Alt F4 out of that. Uh, you quit your bitchin'. 
Oh, you know what? I bet I don't have Steam VR installed on the other computer. <laughs> I should probably do that. Anyway, so I don't so I don't really have the space in that room to put in VR. So that this will be interesting. Some games I can stream, I guess. Um, others I can't. That's that might be an issue because I'm definitely gonna play hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. If I have to bring that other computer out here, I'm gonna fucking do it. And I don't agree with putting computers on carpet. But it's not the carpet that's the problem, it's the floor that's the problem. Um, I have three cats and a dog, so... I don't even know what it looks like in there because it's really hard to open the side panel because the heat sink's too tall. Um, but anyway, that is going to do it for today. And then tomorrow I will have the Vive eventually. And I'll do unboxing and all that crap tomorrow. So, thanks for watching today. And I'll be back with you tomorrow. Alright, welcome to day two. We're going to start today with the unboxing. So, yay, it's here. I need to make sure not to get my address on the label. Or on the label. Let's just avoid the label. So this is my best tech knife, by the way. Um, I don't remember what it is. Like, this is or sure, sure, or whatever. It's my sharpest and most expensive knife. I love it. So this is a different type of unboxing. This time we're on the floor, because... Yeah. All right. Paper. Don't care. Um, and then the vibe comes in this sketchy box. Hold on. All right. Interesting. There's a dent. Awesome. Everything I've ordered lately has had some issue of some form of that. Okay. I feel like this isn't American tape. I can't tell, though. It's definitely interesting. I did, do, I did do a little bit of research. I found out that it doesn't connect through USB. It connects through... Or the... Bay things are power, wall power, and it's also another box inside of this box. Okay. So let's move on to box number three. Box one, box two, box three. Um, there's. I have to cut this open. Where's I? Ah, here we go. Oh boy, okay. Let's get the handle like retail box or something. Um, I don't have a camera person, so. Ah. There's something on the screen. Okay. The knife. Be very safely placed to my right, still open knife. Okay. But uh, yeah, so we don't have to worry about running a wire from there all the way over to here, fortunately. Okay. So what do we got? Things. It's smaller than I thought it would be. Not gonna say it. Oh, Alright, what's this instructions? Probably. Yes. Okay, this is important. I need this. Alright, room scale. So... Alright, it looks like I can set it to a certain amount. Excellent. Okay. I'll figure that out. So these are the things I was talking about. Um, interesting. I'll figure that out. They're heavier than I thought they would be. Same on the bottom. Looks like it's the same thing, so it should work on this. And if it works on that, it'll work on that with my thing. All right. I have never held one of these controllers. Ooh. Ooh. Weird. It's very weird. Oh. Ah, it makes noise. It vibrates. I love it. Okay, so that's not going to connect to anything because there's nothing for it to connect to. Um, anything else? Let's see, that sort of came undone. Oh, okay. It's still sticky. Right, base station mounting guide. Yeah, it comes with two of the sort of speaker mount things. Here's wires. Here's some form of power thing, it feels like. Here's another power thing, probably for the things. Controlling it up. 
I'm not going to show the code, even though it's relevant, because I'll have used it by the time this goes up. Use code below to... Alright. And another wire. And... Adapter. And another wire. And an adapter. Is that it for this section? Must be. Okay. Now the main part. The headset. Okay, we'll set that over there for now. And in here we've got the thing. This is the like main box thing. Got HDMI, USB, power, mini display port. Is that it's uh that one there, that's mini display port, DC. Um interesting, I don't know which side is the front. Probably the orange, assuming orange is where that plugs in, I'm assuming. I don't know. Here's Johnny. And another wall thing. Uh, this is another squishy thing for the front. Or I guess back. A uh, cleaning cloth it comes with. What's in the bag? Oh, this is the headphones it comes with. And then, stop that. Small HDMI cable. Stop that. Uh, it feels like USB. And it comes with stickers! Vive stickers, you know, I don't appreciate that, okay. Um, uh, measure your interpupillary distance. Okay, gonna set that over there. Gonna be a good day. Just gonna send it. I don't know what that is. Maybe if I had actually read what it said. And there's this thing. Oh, this is for the... Um, this. For this, it's a sticker, essentially. Okay, let's, 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 um, um, I don't even know where to start. Okay, what are you? Safety and regulatory guide. Don't need that. Uh, oh, this is the warranty. Does this have instructions in it, or is it just the code that I'm not going to show? Oh boy. Um, um, I think that's just the same thing, really. Okay, so this, I guess, is our setup guide. I know I'm really bad at this camera ing thing, but uh, I deal with it. Actually, you know, here, I have an idea. With my keyboard. Keyboard. Okay. Oh yeah, that's terrible. Okay. Hold on. Um There. That sort of works kind of a little bit, not really at all. Like I said, like I said, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Bring it in a bit. Okay, so let's figure this stuff out. I'm gonna sit back here. Um so this is Final play area, I already did. Oh god. Okay. Um, that gives me like no information whatsoever, so we're just gonna have to figure this crap out. Let's go. And exit the frame for a second and turn everything on. So we're gonna need that. Um, should probably I'm not gonna close the neck, I'll just move it to a higher location where it can fall and kill me. Okay. The box up here. Oh it is. Hey, that's the uh, that's PC. Okay, I was right. Probably put that up here. Okay, hold on. I'll carry you around for a second. Probably gonna have this box up here. Um Okay. Um Alright, chill here again. Let's figure out this headset. Let's take a look at it. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Um, okay, so yeah, it's got a camera and a microphone. You can connect your phone up to it. All sorts of weird crap. My computer's actually running. Uh, I think that's for headphones or something. Power. Okay. Log in. I know there's a better way of having this, you know, happen, but, yeah, whatever. 
How the hell did they do this thing? There's a twist tie holding this all together. I can't untwist tie it. There we go. It's, it smells kind of like fertilizer. Okay. Oh, oh, there's another one, of course. There's another one. Why wouldn't there be? I usually keep twist ties because they can be really useful for other wires. <clears throat> other wires. A bunch of Ethernet cables. That's good with or whatever. Okay. Well, that's what we got for wire right now. <laughs> Be carefully set that on the ground. So my understanding is that this, is all, this comes with a job simulator, which is awesome, and a couple other things. Come on down. All right. So we got HDMI that goes into HDMI. Great shot, right? Okay. USB. Alright, I need the sticker. Alright, gonna set you here again. And again, you see, it's like stuff in there. It's weird. That's a reflection, but you know, whatever. Um, here's the thing. Oh, oh, oh. Um, this won't be nearly as satisfying as I gotta kind of rip off of here. Oh boy, there's a lot of setup with this stuff, huh? Um, so let's see if this works. Let's hope it does. Get you in your frame. Uh, oh. Hey. It works. I am a genius. Or just incredibly lucky. Take your pick. Yeah, so we got that sitting right there. Gonna want to clean that off, I'm betting. All right, so that's the one. Um, we gotta go grab something over here. All right, so I couldn't find the screw I was looking for, but I found a different one. Um, actually, yeah, I'm gonna set you down again. So hold on. Okay, update. Found the screw I was looking for. We're gonna. There you go. Undo that. Um. Yeah, this screw is for my pedals and shit, but you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have to put this in here and yeah, so I'll be right back again again. Okay. Gotta attach. Not perfect, but it, it, it'll work. I'll wake up like I'm here again. Okay, um let's figure this crap out. What are you? This is probably some form of power. You know what? Here's the deal. How about I set this all up, and then we'll come back when it's all done. So, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm about to plug the first one in, so I figured I'd keep you here. See what happens. You'll be able to see more infrared stuff than I will, so. Oh, <laughs> it's not turned on. Hold on. Unplug the fan. I don't need it. Okay. Ooh. What? Six, it's making noises, it's got all sorts of lights going on. It's like vibrating. Okay, whatever, I'll come back to you then. Okay, so they're both plugged in and this keeps doing like weird things. Like here, hold on. If I adjust this a little. Nope, oh, 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 there it goes, see? I don't know what that is. It's weird. So, next. Okay, so I got in most of this. I've got in most of this stuff plugged in. I gotta do something real quick. Okay, I was listening to some music and then I got that plugged in and it stopped. So we got this cable. This is the sync cable. It's about a mile long. So it's going from that all the way over to here. So we're gonna shove that in the mechanism and let's see what happens. Um. Nothing. Nothing happened. Um, so these have USB ports in the back of them. The other micro USB. I don't know what they're supposed to connect to. But uh, whatever. That seems like I've plugged everything in now. There's like uh, what's on the back? Oh, 
Oh, I, I forget. I haven't done the HDMI yet because I kind of lost the cable. <laughs> I don't know where the HDMI cable went. Uh, I put that on my face. It feels really weird. Just thought I'd share. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, so I'll be back again. All right, so I've got to cannibalize this wire. Well, not really cannibalize, but I got to steal this one. I came with the uh, PlayStation 3, apparently. It's a really nice cable from Nyko. Cool lens. The one I came with was way too short, so be right back. Okay, HDMI is plugged in. Um, let's see here. I don't see anything yet. What's this button do? Nothing. Oh. Oh, oh, uh, steam is happening. Okay. Um, yes, I'm using my foot to hit enter. Oh, oh, steam VR is doing its thing. Okay, 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 something's happening. Um, um, I probably need to put this back where it belongs. Oh, oh, uh oh, okay. Oh, that's lit up. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Steal the controllers. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. Um. Um. All right. I'll come back to you. All right. I got everything set up. I've been playing with it for a bit. Um. Really pop this on my forehead. <gasps> so, yeah. I mean. Yeah. It's. I. I'm gonna do a video on this eventually. I don't know when for the time being. I just wanna mess around with it. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's gonna do it for day two. So thanks for watching and uh, I don't know what's next, if anything. So goodbye. Mm -hmm.